Hi guys, guess you again with another uh, firmware upgrade uh, video. Um, this is my second PlayStation 4 um, and this is going to be my second attempt at upgrading the firmware and hopefully this time we're going to get a uh, straight through stream with no uh, interruptions and uh, I hope it all goes uh, successfully. Anyway, it's um, this time on um, System 5.05 which is also an exploitable firmware um, but I have now decided to go to the 9.00 because there's loads of games out there now that it looks like because this this 9.00 firmware is, is pretty good um, I don't think they're going to be backporting uh, games anymore so if you have an old firmware uh, console like 5.05 or 6.72 I'd probably recommend now going to the 9.00 at least you're going to get all the games um, without having to worry about backporting, so um, so let's let's give it a go anyway, and uh, hopefully it will work. Um, I mean, the second video attempt was uh, a bit pants, um, so I'm hoping this one's going to be a bit better. Okay, so it's found the uh, the firmware the USB that I put into the right port. Click next. Uh, system software on the PS4 is going to now be updated, and uh, let's do it. Okay, if all going well, I should just go straight to the install. Please wait. Preparing to install. Okay, when preparation is complete, the PS4 will restart automatically and the update file will be installed. Here we go. This is the moment of truth. Yeah, my first attempt was, um, I was a bit nervous. Um, and it was in the evening, I said, oh, let's, let's, let's give it a go and put the USB stick in. And, but it was because I watched the videos, but I didn't like, I should have had the, the phone next to me uh, or, or a PC next to me with the with the video tutorial sort of like talking to me while I was but instead I watched the video and I was like right I've, I've uploaded this I've uploaded that and these are from the guys on YouTube like Modded Warfare and Blaine Locklear um, and this is where I got the information from and so I said right I've got the pro programs let's go with it and but then as you've seen from the, the first video, I did make some errors um, and I've learned from them errors, so I'm hoping um, this one's going to be uh, better. <laughs> Again, um, the only reason I'm doing this is so that if there's people out there that are a bit worried about, you know, um, messing up the software and breaking their console and they don't want to risk it, I am doing this video for you guys so that, you know, you can see that I'm doing it myself, taking the risk myself and showing you that it does work. So, um, let's have a look. Okay, so we're now restarting the console. my first video the room was black it was in the evening so you couldn't see the reflection of me but obviously I'm doing this in the afternoon in the day and uh, so yeah my TV is now reflecting me hello me 
Okay, new app, system software, update. Now it's updating the software. Install an update file. Oh no. No, I'm not, I'm not as nervous as I was in the first video. I was, I was nervous then. Yeah, I have to admit, I, I didn't know what I was expecting, but, you know, you'd think that watching the videos on YouTube, oh, yeah, it's okay, you know, and these guys got loads of, like, feedback, you know, so, I don't know, just, just give it a go in it, try it out, and it, it worked, yeah, it worked on the 6.72, um, so here we go, anyway, it's, uh, Resetting again, we're starting again, yeah. Yo. Right, um, I forgot to mention that um, I haven't put any 9.0 games on the console. The only one I put on there was um, the one you've seen on screen was Bloodborne, which was a 5.05 uh, uh, game. I sh should have put a 9.0, but I think... The whole point of this video is to, just to show that once um, the exploit goes in, it will go bam, straight to gold hen. And I mean, that is proof in itself, I'd, you know, I would say. That it's all good. Okay, it's rebuilding database. Okay, we're back in. We are back in. Press the PS button. Boom. Controller. Okay. There you go. Right, um, user one. Okay, everything back to where it was. Let's go straight to settings. There you are, it says it's installed 9.00. Let's just double check in the uh, system information 9.00. Okay, now this is where the fun begins. What we gotta do now is go into um, this bit. Um, I think I'd have to go into network. Yeah, I'm already on the network this time. So all I gotta do is go into the uh, user guide where I put the exploit web page. Right. Hopefully it should open it up in a sec. Here we go. There we are. Right, okay. So all I'm going to have to do now is go to uh, 9.00. I think we have to do the cash roll thing again. Okay, let's do it. Press gold hand. Wait for the um, the message. Uh, cannot connect to the server. Okay, I've got a funny f feeling I need to connect to the internet. Um, It says error cache in theme resources. Yeah, I think what it is, I need to um, maybe clear the cache or something. I thought I would have had it right the first time. I mean, the second time that is, do you know what I mean? There you go. There's always something. <laughs> Oh god, error cache and theme resources, right, okay. I'm sure whoever's watching this will be saying, yeah, yeah, you're doing it wrong again, you're doing it wrong again. And set up internet connection. Let's have a look. LAN. Let's see what we're going wrong here. 
Test internet connection, check in, check in, everything's fine. All right, let's go back up to here. See this bit, um, before you can uh, do the exploit, it has to go through the web page and obviously at the moment it's coming up with um, error with the, with the cache. Um, I don't know why. It's puzzled me now a little bit to be honest. There might be a problem in connecting to the network or placing the network. The server of the service provider might be temporarily busy. Okay. Can resolve host name. Okay, so what shall I do here? Shall I um Let me think, let me think, let me think. Ah, I know what it is. I know what it is. It's gotta be my boots up. Right, let's reconnect. Let's reconnect the LAN again. I think it's got something to do with my router. I think I basically didn't reset anything. Let's have a look. Set up internet connect, test internet connect, view connection status. Right, test internet connection. Okay. Hey, thank God for that. Right. PS4, cash roll. Thank God for that. Right, here we go. Let's see if it works this time. Goal 10. Hopefully I should get an error message. There's not enough space. Click on that. Should get a message coming up now saying put the USB stick in. Any second now would be nice. Trying to keep this video running without having to pause. There's not enough memory again. Let's try that again. You're all set. And now how are we all set? Because I didn't even put the exploit in. That's a bit weird. Right, 9.00, gold hen. There, insert USB. Okay, let's put the USB in now. The USB's just gone in. Right. Once it detects the USB, there you are. Saying it doesn't detect it, or uh, it's not supported, press OK. There you go, thank God for that. You're all set, gold hen, bada boom, bada bim. <sighs> what can I say? Stressful times, but just gotta persevere with it. See, you guys, just gotta persevere with it. This time I didn't pause it, I just let it run through, and as you can see, it's all there. If I go into system settings, uh, system information, here we got gold hair 9.00. <sighs> there you go, guys. Um, anyway, thanks for watching again, and uh, I hope this helps with the. Uh, you making the decision whether to upgrade or not. Um, thank you guys, take care.